Look at you. No braces, all the internet you can handle. I wasn't so lucky. Invis is not your parents' braces. Invis is predictable, less painful, more comfortable. Invisalign. We are back at Levi Stadium at the NBC Sports Studio where the Midi Monarchs are back in black. The Midi girls soccer and field hockey teams hitting the field. But, of course, there are limitations to these new workouts making the return to practice bittersweet. What does it mean to a teenage athlete to get back on the field, to practice with teammates they haven't seen in person for 10 months, to play the games they love? Um, yeah, after about seven months of not being able to play at all or have a team, it just feels good to be able to see my teammates face to face. And even if we can't do anything with contact, uh, it's just so nice to be able to be with them on the field and build that sort of community back. That the cohort size is what it is. So if we have three people or we have 30 people, that's the cohort now. It was hard at first because it was seven months and we have, we've kind of only been doing things on our own, but when you're able to just see your teammates and just see their faces in person, it really just, um, you remember why you play the sport and you remember why you're out here and you just forget about like everything going on in the world and you could just play and have fun and be with your team and do what you love. Both Kylie and Emma play soccer and field hockey for Mitty. When practice for sports was first allowed, the two worked out with both teams. But because of new rules from the county, the two can only practice with one of those teams at a time right now. Yeah, that was definitely really hard and frustrating because we were finally starting to get back into the gist of everything and kind of just, you were able to go to your field hockey community and then your soccer community and you were just able to bond with one another and even further your skills. But now when you're only able to pick one sport and you're only able to practice with one team, it just really limits things and it's really challenging to um, kind of bond with both, both teams. Have a plan. So while the soccer team practices one day, these two team captains are not allowed to practice with the soccer team. Instead, they practice with their field hockey team since that team will play first when sports come back in January. I'm so excited. Anything with competition or anything where I get to actually go out there and have a win or lose situation, that's what I've been looking for for a long time. Yeah. But nothing is certain and January games are still not a sure thing. The CIF will decide after talks with the state on guidelines for play or if games will happen at all. This uncertainty is really tough on the athletes. Honestly, yeah, no one really knows at this point. Um, I heard that we're supposed to find out if we do have a season in the next two weeks, and it's really it's really hard to see that volleyball gets a season and football gets a season, especially because football is a really high contact sport, so that gives hope for field hockey, but you really just never know at this point. Something could come up or something can change in a matter of days or minutes. Kylie is one of so many athletes from the class of 2021 who have missed out on scholarships because of limitations put on colleges because of the pandemic. Yeah, it's definitely really challenging, especially because with the seniors in college now, like they may be deciding to take a fifth year, so that's limiting our options as the class of 2021 to pursue a future scholarship or even just a spot on the team. So it's definitely really hard and it makes um, everything really more challenging, especially because if you're trying to get in contact with coaches, the only way is email and um, calling, but you can't really have a face-to-face -face conversation with them, which is really where you're able to get to know them on a deeper level. The two continue to take classes online with hope of classes in person to some extent in January. Then there's the question of all the senior activities, senior ball and a graduation ceremony. They both say playing games would be a great way to bring happy memories during their senior year. So what would they say to the people deciding on whether to play games this January? I would say there's a lot of people that really miss playing and competing. And if you could figure out a way to do it safely and cautiously, please try everything possible. Until that decision is made, these two will enjoy this time on the field. While it is limited for them, it's so much better than no organized activity at all. The Mitty girls, like so many other athletes, keep adjusting their lives as the rules change depending on the severity of the COVID outbreak. We are still hoping there's going to be a soccer season, going to be a football season. We're putting, I'm putting in good January, things out. In, <laughs> in January. It's all going to get better by then. Yes, exactly. Hoping. New Year's. <laughs>